everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time I decided today that I wanted to start playing in my altered book and I'm using this world book so it's much larger than perhaps a novel or a reader's digest um, so it's Oh, about seven and five sixteenths roughly by about 10 inches so it's quite large um, and I was having a think about how I wanted to make it work um, because it's a larger book I feel like I have more choices and I've had some more ideas just before I turn the camera on which is kind of giving me a buzz so I'm keen to get started um i have some pages here that i've torn out i'm just wondering where i can put them um i have no room guys i really don't i've prepared a couple of pages already so i've left two pages at the front and then i've left this page and cut a tab out of the top i've torn out 10 and that will be the back of that pocket and then i have a side pocket so i've left that page i've torn out 10 and I've left that page and that's all I've done. I've inked those up and they're ready to go. And I'm going to start selecting papers. Now I will admit when I first decided to do this and I chose this book, I didn't actually realize that it started with, or it is the C. Um, it starts with the letter C. So at the very front we have C for Christmas. And I looked at it and I went, oh my gosh, it's perfect just perfect so that was a happy accident i did not do that on purpose at all i have my my big stack of antique papery papers here that i haven't done any fuzzy cutting yet dobbing myself right in um haven't haven't had a chance to do any fussy cutting so i really really want to start with this set And I don't know which one. So this set is the, of course, this is from Antique Papery, Winter in Victoria set. And I just love these papers. And these are the journaling cards that I've printed onto the paper. So at the back, oh, sorry, I have a little frog in my throat. It, it pops in every now and then. So I do apologize for that. I was looking to see if I could find those journaling cards so I could show you a comparison. Oh, there we go. Just do that. So, just have a look and see if I can see in camera. So, I'm hoping you can see there, these prints on the paper are just slightly more muted. And I decided I really, really love that look. So, I'm going to use those for this particular altered book instead of the card or matte photo paper images um, personal preference purely personal preference and I do like the fact that they're on paper so they won't add as much bulk okay so I need to choose some beautiful papers I really love the simplicity of that and the fact that it's not as Christmassy but I think because I have the C for Christmas here I would like something that steers toward I really love that that could be a good contender oh or the Christmas tree I really love that too Oh my gosh, these are pretty. I love this too, but I'm not as keen to have the Santa notation on the first page. Hmm, that's a much larger Christmas tree, isn't it? It's really pretty with the stocking. I don't know.
I feel like it needs to be this one. I just feel like it makes an impact. And I like that for the first page. I like to start it off with an impact. And I didn't really want to start it off with Santa. I kind of feel like I want to leave him for later. Okay, so I'm just going to oops, try and tear this out. Okay, and what I have done is I have also printed some background papers from a couple of other digital artists and I will share those with you as I choose to use them. I still want to stick with the antique papery papers. I have so many to choose from and they are so beautiful. Oh, I want that down there. And then I can see the C for Christmas. Okay, and I think I'll glue that in. Oh, actually, I need to decide if I want some sort of backing paper or something at the top here. Okay, so these papers are from Digital Curio. As you know, I love their burlap. I have quite a few of their burlap type digitals now, and I will probably use a few different ones throughout this journal I'm thinking as background paper this is actually their Christmas burlap digital paper I haven't printed all of them and I'll explain to you why in a moment but I'll just give you a quick preview so you can see what color choices we have here to play with some naturals some reds oops, some greens all in different shades that was a mishap but I thought I might be able to use part of that anyway my papers curled a little bit so some of them have Christmassy type patterns on them and I decided I wasn't necessarily as likely to use those in this particular journal so I've only printed I think one or two of those patterns the rest I've just stuck with the plain so that was another one there I think that may be all but there are a couple more in the set just so that you know okay so that's those papers and I need to decide I'm kind of steering towards a green and I think I think that could be quite pretty or do I want to go darker papers are really hard to handle when they're curling like that okay so I'm not quite sure how I want to do this I haven't decided that yet <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, I don't know whether starting this book now is a good idea, but it's been on my mind for some time and I just, I just wanted to have a play with something Christmassy because I wasn't planning on doing a Christmas journal. I decided that it wasn't going to be my thing and I have seen some, oh excuse me, uh, I have some beautiful Christmas digitals and I've seen some beautiful Christmas digitals and some gorgeous journals that have been made and of course Gail has inspired me with her altered book um, and I was just like I, I really want to have a play I just and I think these digitals from Antique Papery were calling me so loudly Okay, so something about there. Sorry, I was in my head just then and I was thinking, I don't know whether one set of these burlaps will be enough for this book because it's such a large book and I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. So I want to say, well, let's do this way first. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to be a danger to myself and everything around me, I think, doing this altered book because I think once the camera's off I may have to have a little a little attempt at making myself some more space I think oops oh, it doesn't matter if that was a little bit skew if and then I'm going to see if I can This could go really well or really, really badly. <laughs> Oops, I have the fan on. I just lost a piece of my burlap. Excuse me. It's about to warm up here big time and I cannot say I'm keen, but... Kind of goes with this time of year for us. That didn't work too badly at all. So I need to add some ink. I need to turn my book around. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I like it. wondering if I want something over that as well so the other thing I have printed is Artie Mays's vintage Christmas music papers and bonus tags so 
I'm just going to choose something from here. I'm actually thinking maybe just the first, first set of jingle bells. Oh, that's almost perfect. Yay. Oh, that is really fun. Okay, so I best ink that before I forget. And I didn't realise that the music is printed in an actual green, so it matches. I'm just doing this lightly because I don't know whether it will be covered completely. Um, it's almost the same green as the paper, which <laughs> it wasn't planned, but it's beautiful. Okay, so I want to see how this is going to place okay and then I can lay this one down and I think I need a new So I was kind of thinking about this book before I started, trying to figure out how I wanted to go about it. And I think I've decided I would like to use a similar style all the way through, but with the different papers from different Christmas sets. So you'll see more and hopefully that will make through sorry hopefully that will make more sense as I work through this altered book but um, I think I have a plan in mind so I just have my fingers crossed that it works I'm a little bit nervous about doing this altered book because it is so much bigger and I'm I'm thinking about the size of my journaling card that will go inside and I'm like it is going to be massive but I have thought of other ways that I can utilise that space as well. So I'm a little bit excited about that. I love that. I love that as my first page. It's beautiful and simple and eye-catching and fun. Okay, so that's the inside of our pocket. So turning over to this page. I thought I'd ink this, but I haven't. So I will do that while I'm thinking about it. I think when I was printing the journaling cards yesterday too, I also printed a couple of 
sets from Antique Papery that I hadn't already printed. I don't remember which ones they were though. So I will try and mention which sets I'm using as I'm using them. To keep you in the loop. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> I'm trying to make room to get my next set of paper. I need to use this space on the desk next to me, I think. Hmm. This is left over from this page. I'm just wondering, it has let it snow here, which was really which is really fun. I'm thinking maybe I'm <laughs> more caught up. Um, I was going to set that aside as a scrap, but I'm thinking maybe I can use it. So, so let's see. Sorry about my arm. I've got a little tub in front of me that I'm putting my scraps in. So that way I can just empty the whole thing into the bin when I'm done. Whoops. I love my chair ruler that hubby made me, but it just seems to be a bit catchy sometimes. And I don't know whether it's the way I'm using it. User error, probably. So just inking this all the way around. making me wish I had have checked some of my other prints before I started because I don't really know this red is kind of jumping out at me and I'm wondering how that would look I kind of feel like that would be really pretty Okay, I'm going to go go for it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm just going. Oops. I just need to mark my page. So I think I might just do a flat tear all the way around. That didn't tear very straight. Better.
Okay, so <laughs> and so it starts. <laughs> Guys, I'm warning you, this could be a catastrophe because I have things piled on top of things, on top of things. I still have my Wonderland journal that I'm working on and it's to my right. Um, and I'm like, I've, I'm kind of feeling guilty because I, I feel like I shouldn't be doing this book until I finish that one. But I'm just like, I've kind of decided that I'm not putting any more pressure on myself to get it finished. I was hoping to get it finished before Christmas. But I felt like I was rushing. And so I've taken my foot off basically the accelerator and I've decided to stop rushing. I The only person putting pressure on me is me. And I was like, I don't want to do half a job and not be super happy with it. So I've decided to... I'm not on a time frame. My only time frame was videoing and worrying that I was boring you all, really. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to take my foot off the accelerator, take a step back. I'm going to play with this Christmas altered book before Christmas has snuck up on us completely and have a little bit of fun with that. And at the same time, refresh myself. Um, so that I can get back into the Wonderland journal in a little while. So, and I may do a little bit of both. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I was just like, you're being silly. Stop putting pressure on yourself unnecessarily. So we haven't left Wonderland yet, or I haven't. Um, we're just, we're having a little holiday. <laughs> I was actually thinking, people who watch my, my videos, I don't know what you all must think because, you know, I watch other crafters and they, they pump out a journal really quickly and I'm like, I make mine more complicated for some reason. I don't do it intentionally. I just, I do like to challenge myself, I must say. And I, I think that's kind of what it comes down to. I set myself little challenges and um, I don't know why I do it to myself. I really don't, but it seems to be my DNA. But I'm happy. Oops, well, I didn't calculate that very well. Okay, I wonder if... Oh dear, I'm in a pickle, guys. <laughs> Hold your breath. Sure, I sized that up and it was going to fit. Okay, so it's just, it just fits. So I need to be, I'm going to add some more glue because my glue is drying really quickly. It's quite warm here today. Um, I left myself too much room at the bottom. That was lucky that it came off. I'm guessing you guys had my back then. <laughs> I was like, no, it's too long. So I'm interested to know if anybody else has tried to do an altered book with a much larger book. Feel free to leave me a comment and let me know. I'm keen to... I haven't actually seen anybody do it, and I'm not saying that it hasn't. I'm so sorry, everybody. As you know, it's not me if I don't get a phone call while I am videoing. And yes, it happened again. So I do apologize. I had to stick my paper down because 
I had already glued it when the call came through. So, and I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever had days where you wonder why? Just, why do I do this? <laughs> oh, goodness me. So I'm kind of thinking, I don't know whether I'd like to turn that into a little tuck spot. I'm thinking I might. So I may just... Showing myself where center is. And I only want to take out the slightest little tab there. Just to indicate that it is a tuck spot. And I'm wondering whether I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm always thinking. I have. So this is just some brown paper, wrapping paper. I'm wondering if I can use that. I can. I wasn't sure it would work, but I think maybe it will. Okay, so let's make it a little bit smaller. It's repurposed. It's been used as a gift wrapping and I saved it because I tend to do that and my family tend to do that along with me these days. Oops. So. I just want to, <laughs> I want to remember what I'm doing. I just want to tidy it up. Do this way because I am right-handed after all and I'm making things difficult for myself and I'm going to ink The reason I'm adding this partly is for extra detail, but also partly because I wasn't sure the paper as a pocket would be sturdy enough. And this paper is, well, it's, it's a brown paper, so it's not terribly thick. But I feel like it's thick enough that it's a little bit more durable than just the paper on its own. And having that lovely white pattern it, it kind of reminds me of well it reminded me of snowflakes at Christmas I'm going to and I'm doing this partly because it's already wrinkled so oh I actually love how aged that made it look And I'm just, I only need to do this around the edges because that's all that will show. Well, that's a little bit fun.
okay. It's not perfectly straight, but I'm okay with that. I did think I had a little bit more playroom around the outside of it, but I don't, and I'm okay with that too. Um, I think it's just a little bit different, a little bit fun. I just realized I'm going to have no idea how long I've been videoing for either. So that's a little bit awkward. And I'm stuck. And I'm being really awkward. <laughs> And I want this. So as you see with that extra piece of paper and a little bit of glue, it's kind of wrinkled out those, or oh sorry, flattened out those wrinkles, but still has a really aged look about it. So I really love that. And then... I might tap this little bit here as well. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to use some Art glitter glue. <laughs> oh, I'm struggling, guys, really. Nobody can glue a straight line and talk at the same time, okay? <laughs> it's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, that's fun and I really love the fact that I've used some well, some old wrapping paper repurposed wrapping paper I'm going to add a little bit more glue there to the corner and I'm going to have seepage I know because I can see it kind of love the little bit of texture that wrinkling up that paper has created as well so and we have a little tuck spot here for a nice little journaling card so I'm going to close this pocket so across the bottom And up the side I'm all good when I'm doing that until I hit the little box that's on my right hand side and then <laughs> my gluing comes to an end so just pressing that down 
closing my book while I'm doing this to try and bring my paper as far across as possible. Uh oh, my fan has just sent something flying. So I have a little tuck spot at the top and turning over I have a tuck spot at the side. I love that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. <laughs> I'm tripping over my words. I can't even talk. I love it so much. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't even realise until just now that I've done green and then I've done red. I love it. Okay. I'm wondering how long. I don't know. I don't know whether I should keep going. I actually love the way that's come together. Like I said, I've not used an encyclopedia to do anything like this before. So I wasn't really sure how the pages would take the glue. But it seems to be wonderful. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, I might leave this video here. We haven't done the double page spread, but I'm really not sure how I'm going for time, guys. So I think I'll leave this video here and I will start a new video to move forward through this book. I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, it was inspired by Gail Augustinelli and I really appreciate um, everything that Gail shares because... I was so, so excited to start this little project. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you all soon, everybody. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and like this video if you've liked what you've seen. Subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so that you don't miss any future videos. And always feel free to comment. I love to chat. I love to hear your ideas, your thoughts, your opinions. And just get to know you a little bit better. I look forward to seeing you all soon, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye for now.